What's up, YouTubers? We're going, we're going off the record right now. Uh, not off the record. This is totally the record. <laughs> um, this is uh, kind of my own little version of the pine forest down here in uh, northern Arizona. We just got back from the Grand Canyon. Amazing, amazing overlook. Now I don't want to, I don't want to have a really long vlog here or anything like that. But I did want to relate just how, just how incredible everything is and, and uh, just kind of relate an experience with you. So, you know, I was looking over the Grand Canyon. Let's, let's intercut some shots of looking over the Grand Canyon right here. Bow! Well. There we are. <laughs> Total weep overlook of the Grand Canyon. And I know on camera, never gonna do it justice but that is one mile down let me put you over the edge all right guys there it is check it out the Grand Canyon in all of its majesty I don't think it'd be that big of a deal to jump on a dirt bike though honestly oh wait no wait sorry oh wait <laughs> now this is the Grand Canyon oh yeah that's a uh, that's a different story hey hey what's up youtubers it's me and mr. Rohonek we're hanging out. Uh, it might look like we're just in a normal, you know, kind of cool place. We got these cool rocks. But, uh, oh, there's a bug on my hand. Get off there, bug. No, uh, we just want to show you where we're at. Let me just pan slowly. The bees are ripping my flesh off. But that's probably better than falling off. Yeah, I'd rather really get stung by a bee then. Yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna fall off of that. But uh Mr. Goka Basa and I, we made it. Not like it's that it's not like Yeah, that we drove on a road. Woo! Hooray for mustaches though. Boom! Yeah. Look, yeah. Let me get in there. Boom! <laughs> Brap, and we're back just like that. Magic of editing. You didn't miss any of the trail. Pretty awesome, but uh, the Grand Canyon, incredible. And uh, man, over the last couple of weeks, I mean, just from the start of March, things have been really amazing. I mean, it's been some of the most amazing riding I've done in my life. Went down to Moab, met some really amazing people, uh, other fantastic moto vloggers, met them in real life. And it was just like meeting brothers. And uh, you know, I'll put up a video, if I haven't already, I'll put up a video of that soon because this is all coming out in the future, you know, future, this is future self. But, uh, I mean, I've been able to see some really amazing things, really incredible views. I mean, I got to look over a mile down into the Grand Canyon. I've seen uh, dinosaur tracks that were, that are, you know, several millions of years old and just uncovered, uh, basically. Not by man, but uh, just, Kind of geological events blink of an eye geologically there they'll be uncovered and then they'll erode away but you see those you see uh the ruins of you know ancient uh, not ancient but you know uh, 1800s pioneers we've seen um thousands of years old th thousand i don't know if i said that right but very, very old petroglyphs. All these things are right around me. And uh, I've ridden on some of the most amazing trails in the world, and seen some of the most amazing things in the world. And I, and I, uh, something happened last night. I, I got to go on a night ride with Damon. Let's intercut some of that footage. Oh man. This is crazy. Check it. We go around a turn, you run up against this big, like, sheer wall of rock. <laughs> I don't see a very big ever right up against the wall from the light of the behind of your head. Oh, 
Oh yeah! Woo, I, I got that on camera in the middle of the night. So anyway, yes, I got to go on that night ride and it was amazing. And uh, first of all, Katsumi's light. That's Mr. Duff Factor's bike's light. That thing is, yeah, that thing's incredible. I mean, it makes night riding no problem at all. Just a uh, fantastic experience all around. Funny thing is, we got back, I got back to my house at about, um, I got back at about 12 o'clock um, at night, midnight. And I go in and, you know, my, uh, my kids have been a little bit sick. They got what I had last week, which is absolutely no fun to have. And my wife obviously has been exhausted because when I, while I've been out, you know, riding motorcycles and having fun, you know, she's been home with the kids and such, she's so awesome. Uh, just patient with me, you know, and I owe her a lot. So you get, you get whatever you want, honey. When you watch this, you get, you get to, you get whatever you want. If you want to go somewhere for a week, it's yours. <laughs> Uh, but I've been really blessed to be able to take all these rides. Um, but the really kind of striking thing is, is last night when I got home, I went up and since my kids had been sick, they were uh, all sleeping in, in the bed with my wife. And I got home and I looked at that, I kind of looked at that spectacle of my kids and my wife. And my daughter woke up and saw me and, Daddy's home, you know. And, uh, you know, it's funny because we can travel all these ways and we can see beautiful, amazing things. We can see things that put us in awe and inspire us and almost bring us to tears sometimes. But I never want to forget and I never want to take for granted that what I have at home, that daddy's home. <laughs> I never want to take that for granted because that's the most beautiful thing I've seen all month. Is my kids and my wife. I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm emotional. I've had some amazing experiences. Um, incredible things happen. Wow, I'm not really going to post this. <laughs> Just never forget, you guys, that uh, the most beautiful things in the world are, are right in front of your eyes. So, <laughs> I just feel very, very blessed. Oh man. Ah <laughs> oh, geez, it's feeling a little bit wet inside my helmet. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh come on, let's get some wrappage going on so this uh can dry up a little bit. Oh Yeah, wow. Blubbering. You guys you can see the ends of the earth. You can see the Grand Canyon, you can see the wonders, you can see everything that is beautiful, and I'm sorry if this offends you, but I, you can see everything that God has created for us. And it is beautiful, and it is wonderful, and it is inspiring. But um, just never forget that the, the most beautiful things are right there, right there in front of you. So thanks you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, hopefully this helps you to maybe put things in perspective a little bit. Maybe, you know, maybe if you're a little older than I am and your children are grown up. I can't imagine that they're any less beautiful. Even if they've made mistakes or even if you've made mistakes. It's, uh, life is too short not to see these beautiful things on these beautiful machines and it's too short not to notice the things that are right in front of our faces so uh, go out and go out and appreciate what you need to appreciate his life is too good and uh, 
things are too beautiful to take for granted. And people, people especially, loved ones, they're, it's too important, you guys. Far more important than riding motorcycles or seeing the world. People, people are number one, so. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do love you guys. Wouldn't share this stuff. I wouldn't blubber. Oh my gosh, I was <laughs> gonna publish a video where I'm just blubbering. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. Because I think that maybe, hopefully, one or two people it will maybe make a difference and inspire some change in their lives. Maybe. Uh, I hope. Anyway, guys, I really do love you guys. Ride safe. And have a lot of fun, but never forget what's most important. All right, Ever Ride out.